if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe check out the bleach playlist you know check out the bleach content if you're a bleach fan please do to subscribe you love the content i promise and without further ado let's dive in and your girl tell me bye when i'm okay we be uh uh huh hear me up yeah double cup uh huh let me up yeah i don't serve but i buy so i'm loved yeah and your girl tell me bye when i'm as you all can see today, we are going over no other than Yamamoto. Now, if you go right now, just um, move by, right, while the video is still playing, click on your search bar on YouTube and see how many good Yamamoto or even any Bleach scaling videos are there, except from the ones Bleach Hub and Clyde have done. They do very good jobs. I like both their contents, you see. But here, we bring the game to a higher level. A whole different level. Yamamoto is a very, very loved and appreciated character in Bleach. One of my favorites, you know. And we are going to start his scaling from the Soul Society arc. Now, Yamamoto was going to fight both Shonsui and Ukitake, who in their own right are extremely strong. How do we quantify their strength? If you have watched my Ichigo video, which you should just go to the link below, it's there very wonderful video you would love it and see the calcs then it shouldn't be that complicated to understand john sui barely fought until later during the aranka arc it is important to note that john sui is rival is a rival to ukitake which is pretty implied constantly and they're like best friends and just like aizen who reached his peak earlier on in the show until the dangai period where he started advancing again Right, Shonsi and Ukitake, of course, like everyone, would have a 10 times multiplier for each arc, and they are also reached their peak most of the times. They both was pow so powerful that during the Aranka arc, which they don't even train on a, on a regular basis, we are shown to be able to take on the number one Espada individually, and his name is no other than Stark. Now, we already know how powerful the Spada are quite easily from the calcs. We should check and, and that will be in the Ichigo video. And also here, because I have to link everything. A narrative scaling from the Ichigo video, which is very much accurate to a very good extent. We will be using calcs here as well. And we know Stark is 750 times star level in his release state, which he stated to be able to shoot infinite zeros, but we know that's just an, exp an expression for a man's power, since nothing else justifies such claim. Stark states he can shoot 10,000 zeros at once and continues to do that casually. One zero can blow up Las Noches casually or the dome, which really isn't that impressive, but when you can shoot 10,000 10, at a go, guys, Las Noches is nothing. It won't blow like 10,000, like you're going to nuke like 100 of Las Noches easily. And to get his normal base, that is for Stark, you have to divide his release multiplier by 10 to get his base form. Now, which is further proven here in the sense that number four, who is Yukiora and above, states, um, is uh, being stated to have more than just one release. But the thing is that Harry Bell, Baragan and Stark have one. But there's um, their one release is equal to two releases and each release is five times increased and theirs is ten times which compensates for not having two isn't the number of stars or whatever that you um he scales to that you divide but you divide the actual multiplier the actual multiplier numbers that resulted to the further calculation to give that also it is linear and exponential in his base, he is equal to Halle Bell in her release states. That is insane. In which Shang Sui was just messing around as usual, like it's nothing, and casually taking the dub with ease. Stark releases to see, um, to see if Shang Sui would use his Bankai, but he was just matching Stark up with his with his Shikai, and he was matching up with um he was matching up base. Um, Stark with his own base, which is on Harry Bell's level. 
until Ukitake came and was casually absorbing and reflecting Seru like it's nothing, um, Chauncey was just enjoying himself. And both of them actually forced stack one-on-one because they didn't see the need to help each other and Ukitake even stated that. They are both too strong. Meaning that Shikai is on the level of 750 times star level. And since they was at the peak, and when I say star level, I'm referring to the sun. And since they was at the peak of their, of their strength in almost every arc, until the thousand year blood war, even the thousand year blood war, they are still the strongest. Dude, Ukitake literally had Mimi Hagi inside of him. Shonsui literally had, if you're removing Kenpachi and Aizen, and um, Urahara and um, um, what is his name? Uh, yeah, and Ichigo, right? Chauncey has the next most amount of Riatsu. Dude, you literally drown. That His bank guys make you drown in Riatsu. And if you cannot counter it, you die. And he did that from one of the most powerful stand readers, Lily Baru. Just try to, you know, comprehend that. See? And since the, um, like, they're always at the peak. To get the power of yourself in Soul Society arc, you just divide your base by 10. It will fall to star level plus, which is on the level of Noitora. So, in Soul Society arc, in base, they are star plus. In Shikai, they are back to a higher bell level individually. And if Shansui or Okitaki was supposed to go Bankai in Soul Society arc, they would be on the level of Stark in his release date. That is crazy. They were already ahead of everybody a long time ago. Momoto was going to beat the both of them pretty much low difficulty and stated that even with both of them, they had no chance. And they all was in Shikai, but we need to know how much powerful Yamamoto's Shikai is. Since we know how much they both scaled in Soul Society arc and Aranka arc in base in the Shikai and Bankai, Yamamoto in Soul Society arc would scale to them put together and higher. I then one shot everyone including Shonsui in his Shikai and many other formidable captains and visors who could take on Harry Bell and Baragon though Kubo intentionally removed people like Kenpachi and Bakuya as well as Mayuri and Unohana if not those four together would actually body slam Aizen at that time as even Urahara who ranked consistently above everyone with the help of Ishin who also ranked above everyone and Yoruichi who, is defi who definitely was at the peak of captain class Urahara was body slamming Aizen until he got his full uh, first transformation and still as of that he still created a Kido seal to undo the effect of Hyokoku by making it not regard Aizen as its master. I won't go deep on that here. Sub for Urahara content to get his full scaling. This week I'm going crazy on Bleach. If you like the Bleach content please share it because I will just stop and go back to my other scalings because if I see if, I, if we can get at least 500 views and I can get like 300 subscribers from the Bleach family, then bro, you guys are just gonna love me then. Because I have to say it, I'm proud to say it, and I'll say it, you know, you can debate me in the comments here. I don't feel like doing VC debates. You know, you can debate me in the comments here. I would say it apart from possibly Clyde Saiboshi. Um, not everybody knows Saiboshi, but it's one, a very good Bleach debater. And also, being a good debater does not necessarily mean you're a good scaler. I say it every day and say it. I'm one of the best scalers in the whole community. Bring whatever community you want to bring. Put them together. I still rank above almost everyone. And I'll say it to that kingdom come. But debating, I'm good in my own rights. But I don't really care about that. Because it's just too much controversial opinions. In which somebody can use a retarded argument. But just has better rhetoric and a better, better way of um, debating. To smack you despite you being correct. So debating just really holds no justification to false equivalence. To equate being, good, being a good debater to having facts. And moving on. Now, Yamamoto... So Saiti Arc would be safe to say he is above Shikai Shonsui plus Shikai Okitake with some leftovers to win another mid-range captain like Toshiro at that time. Shikai Yamamoto would be equal to 60 plus times star level for So Saiti Arc. Now I have hinted quite on the Ranka Arc. How about 
we move on quickly. We already have gotten quite the logic for our anchor while trying to derive Soul Society arc. Now, scaling from Shonsu and Nukitake, who are implied directly direct students of Yamamoto, in fact, they're students and made them extremely strong, that he sees them as a threat to go full Shikai with Ryu Jinjaka. Ukitake and Shonsui in Shikai are on the level of Stark's release individually and as for their Bankai, they can't go Bankai as even Ukitake says that it is too dangerous because of everyone there. And do you know the people that were there? A lot of Arankars, high, low and mid end. You had Baryagan, Harry Bell, Stark was there, Yamamoto was there and other captains. And yeah, even Aizen was there, but Aizen is out of the equation, we all know that. But that is insane. He said he didn't want to go back. I need of them because it would just literally kill everybody by just going back. And it's the honest truth. They're just, they're just that strong. Yamamoto would scale to these two together as to that point, they're still afraid of him when he just flexes a little bit. So which means Yamamoto would be 1,500 times star level. And if you have been following, you would know that this includes the 10 times increase for each arc. Now we will say that everyone else got stronger in full brink arc, which actually isn't a lie for Kenpachi's fight, Giriko who was already very strong and also had part of Ichigo's powers. That was the full bring arc, but it doesn't sound impressive on because in the Ichigo video, I didn't, I barely spent five minutes on the full bring arc because I didn't really see that necessary to start touching up on other characters there. But like I said, if you need more scaling, I will do that for you. So just subscribe. Remember, I need five five hundred views at the very minimum. One, if we can get to one k at least, that'll be nice. And like 300, 400 um, bleach subscribers on this account for now bro you guys will love me seriously just make sure to share the work i do very good content and i believe i know myself i know what i do you know I, if you can discriminate other people's work you should be able to discriminate yours when i do bullshit i know i did bullshit and i always admit it but when i do good stuff because it took me weeks almost sleepless nights to do this right now it is 7 37 p.m and i'm recording this while my ichigo video is uploading right now oh so, let's go everyone naturally gets this amp you know now everyone naturally appeared far stronger in that arc to be honest and that was their forms for a thousand year blood war which is actually the last amp they got from their base forms so what i'm saying is definitely correct they all did get stronger at least 10 times which you know is a consistent multiplier in the verse only few got stronger in the war in base and uh, still few got stronger in Bankai's by actually mastering it like Rookie and Toshiro Why Kenpachi finally got his Shikai in Bankai. So yes, they got another 10 times amp which has always been the case. Multiply the Shikai amp by 10, that will give you 15,000 times star level for Yamamoto in Ishikai in the Thousand Year Blood War. Not even the Thousand Year Blood War. As for the Thousand Year Blood War, because of Fullbring, like I said, Fullbring arc was literally, like really Fullbring arc ended, it was just the next thing was Thousand Year Blood War. So that was the last um, amp they got. And that was Yamamoto at that time, Ishikai is 15,000 times star level. And his bank cap would be 10 times that, which is 150,000 times star level. This is nothing close to even solar system level, but it is accurate and this is multi-star level plus. Largest star in our galaxy is Pisto, which is 100 times larger than the sun. Yamamoto's Riatsu in Bankai is 150,000 times larger than the sun, which means he's equal to 1,500 Pisto stars, which is just insane. For the level of Lloyd, to say he's enveloped by the sun justifies this claim. The question people will ask or try to debate against is the fact that he said he was said to be heating up at 15 million degrees, which is the core of the sun. There are three things to note. Right? The first thing is Yamamoto was stated to be suppressing his Riatsu so much that it became a strain on his body and was going to kill him. Two, imagine you holding 150,000 sons in your body just for you to release one in the atmosphere out of 150,000 think about that so yes he had he had 149,999 
being suppressed while in his back eye, which is supposed to release that whole shit and just fucking destroy whoever is in front of him. Think about that. And it's directly stated, so nothing is wrong. And the scaling works perfectly. The second thing here is his Riatsu is a flame type Riatsu, which means that it is it is his Riatsu that was in form of flames and while suppressed it was star core to a star level, the core of the sun. The bonk for this would have been if he wasn't suppressing it, then it would equate his durability and would negate the scaling. But for you to even do that, you need to know the deductive logic and calcs like I did, which consistency would negate the argument because they are both author's intent, which one that is less consistent and logical would be death of the author, which is the opposition, which is a negation. So don't even think about it. You've been debunked already. If you still think you want to debate it, the comments is right here. Yamamoto always suppresses his power too much, which includes even Hishika and his base form. There are a few things I want to clear up as well, apart from what I just did. And the first one is, it is stated that Yamamoto, while severely holding back, was going to destroy Soul Society, which is the planet. Yamamoto states that his Zan Kenotachi, or to be specific, North can cut all things to ashes and out of existence which we bleach fans start shouting existential erasure which isn't the case and if it was the case then it still has a limit as Lloyd um, Blue Vein could neg it and it's um, he's even weaker than Yamamoto even when suppressed. Third thing is Yamamoto's band cap was stated by Yuha to be much um, to be too much for the Stern Ritters to collect, which is actually true. Each Stern Ritter was actually assigned to someone to fight if you guys didn't notice because of power cliffing. Yamamoto is the border between the high tiers and the lower tiers within the verse. At that, almost every captain was below Yamamoto, if not all. But after second battle started, not one captain was below Yamamoto in the Ashikai, and every Stern Ritter got violated in a bad way except from the really top ones like Gerald, which had to had something to do with the Soul King. The only one who was actually very formidable was Lili Baru, and he got body slapped, right? And um, asking Nak, who got slapped. So, let me go over his hacks, and we will call it a day. How about we start with Zanka Notachi East? The heat of the of his flames or Riatsu is focused at the sharp edge of his blade, in which anything it touches is blown to ashes. Zanka Notachi West, this is when the heat of his Riatsu starts heating up gradually, while he suppresses it on his body, which is high level concentration, as I explained earlier. While doing these, um doing that was at the level of the core of the sun. Zanka Notachi South. This is basically the ability of him to call 1 trillion dead Shinigamis that have fallen to his foot back with flames capable of destroying the enemy and also cast some kind of remembrance illusion of previous comrades and won't stop until the enemy turns to ash or Yamamoto is killed or stops it. Zankano Tachi um, North, this is when the heat of his Riatsu is concentrated at the top or the um tip of his sword and fun fact the least dangerous Zanka no Taichi is the west ask me why in the comment section and if you found this video informative if you loved it you liked it then please do subscribe like share and comment and see y'all next time peace